Today we're looking at the game Hades, where you play Zagreus, the son of Hades, and you're trying to escape hell from your overbearing helicopter parent. Yeah, I guess Hades has some mommy issues or something, but he doesn't want his son to leave. He doesn't want him to escape the freedom, to see the nice sun hit his face instead of, I don't know, looking at lava and tormented souls. But you're not expected to win the first time. If you've ever played a roguelike dungeon crawler game, essentially, you make it through the layers and you're expected to die on your first run and then you come back, you level up your character and rinse and repeat and eventually your character gets really strong and you're able to make it all the way down to the end and you fight Hades and escape. I'm free! So I've challenged myself today to take a control away every time I beat a boss. Now each level has a boss as I mentioned and so once I beat a boss I spin this wheel. On the wheel, they have every single control for the game. Your moves, your right controller, left controller, X, B, Y, etc. No you get the God, gist. Bro. And if it lands on the control, then I take that control away. It's a pretty simple challenge. I wanted to see if I could actually make it through what I call the Hades Gambit. Now you have multiple weapons you can choose from. There's a spear, a shield, uh, there's a bunch of other things, but essentially what I'm going to be using is the gun. I think it's ridiculous that you can have an automatic weapon in ancient Greece. Fuck it, I guess the programmers thought it would be funny. Steven, you made a good choice on the, uh, the gun this time. So first run is, okay, alright, before I even start, I know you're going to say, Oh, he's not wearing the same sweatshirt, the whole set looks different, things change in the background, listen. All right, I'm a one-man show. I don't. I, I had to. I got lazy. I had to record it on multiple days. Okay, I'm the editor, the producer, the video game guy. There's only so much I can do. Am I? Am I right, Zach? Man, you're right. You guys, don't cut me any slack. Anyways, first level of Hades is Tartarus. It's pretty, pretty easy. I haven't spun the wheel yet because I haven't fought a boss, and so essentially the only guys I got to worry about are these skull dudes, which I'm pretty sure were ripped from Zelda exactly from Zelda then they have the shredded bodybuilder I don't know how they got Ronnie Coleman in here but he looks absolutely like a fucking unit so I mean these guys are pretty standard it's if you play the game basically every run I did I just blasted through this then I got to Meg which is the boss of Tartarus and Meg is not too bad most worried about is her taking one of my death defiances which is an extra life but essentially this is how every single run went for me Nice. Okay. Now that we beat one boss, we spin the wheel, as they say. No shot. Now, I lost attack like a comical amount of time, so I thought it would be like no, equal chance if you have a wheel, but for some reason I just kept losing it and losing it. I think there's like a magnet, no a secret shot. magnet that just wants to attract it to the most base attack, which I use all the time. It's just my luck, I guess. So now I'm, uh, I'm kind of stuck with either noob tubing, like it's Modern Warfare 2, or casting a spell like I'm from Witcher or something. And so essentially, after I'm done with Meg, I make it to the next level, which is Asphodel. Now, Asphodel isn't much more difficult. It's kind of like a Doom map, you know? And you just got to avoid the lava and avoid Medusa. And essentially, it's still pretty, pretty easy, you know? I, don't, doesn't get, don't get me wrong, I did lose a decent amount of lives on this level, this section, just because I was missing a certain base move, and I'd always click that button instinctually, and it wasn't there. But then... I make it to the next boss, which is Bone Snake, and this guy is all right. I still lost a ton of death defiances on this one, and he spawns these little minion snakes that throw up lava and other guys, smaller minions. They have the worst acid reflux in their entire lives, apparently, and sometimes the scream can get pretty chaotic, and I take damage, and it's pretty hard to avoid. Even if I had all my movesets, not even counting the fact that I'm missing like attack on most of these or uh, one of my specials. Either way, the snake is still a piece of cake. This is a bowling ball and this is a cake. 
What? Oh, the show is insane. No, actually, the show isn't. I don't even know how you got this green lighted by producers. Like you were essentially in a room and you were pitching the idea and you're like, listen, it's gonna be, they're gonna guess items, but one of the items is gonna be cake. <laughs> Trust me, it's gonna be good. No, terrible, terrible. It's, it's a, it's a phenomenon that I will never understand. So one of the last areas that you finally make it to is Elysium. Elysium is the worst part of this entire run, okay? These fucking spearmen are the bane of my existence. These spearmen blow. I, I hate the spearmen, okay? They're the worst thing. Once you kill them, they, they turn into these little floating eyeballs, and I just want to crush them in my hand and just turn them into dust and light a fire. Blow them up. Forget these fucking spearmen. But it, it gets even so much worse. In one of my runs, I <laughs> found the hammer, which I think I mentioned the hammer. It's an OP special that you can use to upgrade your weapon. And it turns out that the previous level, I lost the control that it upgraded. So I wasted my time going to the level and I couldn't even use the hammer. Can't I couldn't use even use it. What a waste of a evil. I just wasted all my time. I wasted all my time killing these enemies just to just to waste even more time not being able to use the, the hammer at all. So not only that, there's a mini boss and sometimes he's not even optional. Like the level forces you to use the mini boss and it's a minotaur and he will remove so much health off of your off of your character. Oh, great. This is going to be a fucking nightmare. It does give you a, a slight benefit for the final boss because he's part of the final boss and so he actually does start with lower health at the end, but it's not even worth it. It's not even worth it because he recovers most of it back. Besides that and the lovely butterfly man that just spreads his pixie dust all over the, all over the place, uh, th there's really nothing else. Just kidding. This level is fucking awful. It's the worst level ever. I've died so many times on this stupid level. Minus the run where you remove my controls, I die on it just regularly. Now the boss of it at Elysium is broken, alright? It's Theseus and Minotaur. These two guys combined, it's it's living hell. It's he's they're worse than Hades. Nah, but he remembers Donkey Kong with the dump Donkey Kong do got a dumpy. In my opinion, they're the worst boss in the entire game. They will end your run on a regular basis, not even counting that you have two controls missing. They will end a run no matter what. You have to focus on Theseus who throws a spear at you and he locks onto you like he's got some kind of aim assist or he's some cracked out 12 year old playing Modern Warfare 2. And then the Minotaur's raged up on Red Bull or something, I don't know. He's also cracked out. They're both cracked out, alright? They're both high as shit, okay? It's like you're in downtown LA, you're running through Skid Row, and you basically said you had heroin on you. These guys were the bane of my existence for most of my runs. And when I did make it past them, I was so maimed and so loss of death defiance that I barely survived shortly after these guys anyways. So it was kind of a nightmare the whole time, and I never want to do this gambit again because of these two. And I lost all my death defiance because of that. Jesus. Okay, that means the, this is the last time we spin it. Here we go. I don't. It's not looking good for us, boys. No shot. <laughs> no shot. Now I finally reach the Temple of Sticks, the final frontier, the last point in which your father makes a last stand and you battle him to escape hell. Now I've only made it here a handful of times because Theseus and the Minotaur are literally the bane of my existence. Like I said, they make each run extremely hard. So every time I made it there, it was a last dish effort to survive. But there was one run in particular that I thought was the one. I blasted through all rooms in the Temple of Sticks and I made it to Hades. I battled him out, but alas, I died. I thought this was the end of all my runs. I thought to myself, man, I'm not a pro gamer. I'm not like someone from a summoning salt video that's just grinding day in and day out. I'm a, I'm a casual guy. I, I don't have the skills, the utilities to do this challenge. But I pushed forward for one 
final run. This is a miracle run. Essentially, one of my first moves that I lost was attack. Then I lost my Y, my special. So all I had was cast and dash. This is one of the most amazing stars aligned universe in one cohesion. Just perfect build that I've ever seen. I was able to just use my dash to defeat every enemy and make it to Hades and finish him with only a dash. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's fucking broken. Holy. So we know that can be done. You can literally beat this game with dash. What are the, what are the, what are the uh, moves that I just used? I beat him with dash, cast, and uh, call. For my build that made it so good, I had sturdy, which made me invulnerable to attacks when I dashed. I had Blade Rift, which left a spinning vortex that damaged enemies. I increased my sp spin so that it spun even larger. When I took damage, it made me invulnerable for two seconds. Also, I was able to dash an extra time. The combination of those boons created the most miraculous build. This was a great challenge. I say this at the end of every video, but like and subscribe. I'm a small channel, so this would be doing me a huge favor. It would really show that you like the content. I mean, you made it to the end, so I hope you like the content. I stream on twitch.tv. It's just Z-A-C-A-V-I-L-A. It's just my name. It's the same as my YouTube channel minus the H. Uh, someone stole it with the H, so I don't know. So it's gone forever. But if you have any other ideas for challenge videos or any other ideas for any videos, drop them in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.